This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. It shuts down the run. It gets instant sacks. <laughs> and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using in results like this, he could go all the way. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. But if you guys use team playbooks, you can also find these in my Saints offense and Raiders defense. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment. I'm going to be showing you guys another gameplay from my CFM league with 32 subscribers, but I have to fast forward a bit as the league's first playoffs are about to start, and I can't really keep up making videos for every game. But I have at least three that I want to show you guys today, starting with the gameplay against the Cardinals. Just a little background information on the Cardinals. The original owner of this team got booted for being inactive, but the owner that I replaced him with came in and immediately started winning in dominant fashion. As I don't think he's lost a game since he's been in the league yet, winning six straight and activating one of these hot opponent challenges. And since I'm coming off a loss to the Giants that I plan on bringing you guys in a future video, I had no momentum going into this game at all. This might be the Cardinals, but in this league we gave the lesser teams extra superstars and X-factors of their choosing that they wouldn't normally have. And on the first drive he gets ball and goes down the field with no problems as he ran mostly annoying RPO plays but I have the perfect defense for that that I'm going to show you guys in this video as I only got him to a third down once on the goal line before he ran it in on a read option with Kyler Murray to take the lead. On offense, I start the game trying to run with my eye form close, but it seems like everyone knows this scheme, especially in my league, as I made a lot of videos about this when the league started. Hey. As he gets me to a fourth and two right away that I decide to go for, and I pick up the first on a drag to the tight end. I try to take a shot on the next play as he gets an instant sack and makes me change offenses to my gun stack wide flex scheme on third and long. If you guys want to see more about the offenses or defenses that I'm using in this gameplay, I'll have links to the full breakdown in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. As I make a dangerous dangerous throw but an even better adjustment oh, you almost had it. before I read cover three to pull out a brand new one play touchdown from this offense that I plan on showing you guys in a future gameplay against the Giants from the fade out as all I have to do is put the B receiver on a comeback to pull this cornerback down and put the Y receiver on a slant to both hold the user and act as a check down Break yourself, fool. The defense I'm going to be showing you guys again today is my 3-3 odd scheme as I can confidently say that this is the best defense in the game. And I'll be showing you guys some brand new setups that will take the plays that I've already shown you guys to the next level as I'm constantly finding new adjustments to make this defense even better. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. The most important coaching adjustments are still to set your auto alignment to base to hide your coverage and to turn auto flip off so that you can flip the play in the huddle. I come out in my cover three blitz to start to drive but anytime I see three receivers to one side of the field like this I always man the curl flat to the slot receiver as this is the most likely receiver to get open up the seam but he hits me with another RPO play as this is the majority of his and most players offenses online right now as these plays can be very glitchy if you don't have the right defense I decided him with a new blitz on the next play out of the overload three press which is a play that I've never put out in gameplay but before I do I decided to put my fastest cornerback in Kalen Barnes a 96 speed cornerback that someone just cut and I found one day while searching the free agent market. But since I have plus three on all my cornerbacks and my talent tree, it boosts him up to a 99 speed. Perfect for this cornerback blitz. As all I have to do is bring him closer to the line of scrimmage before the snap, then bring my user over the guard gap to try to pull a blocker, and he runs on the next play only to get shut down by all the blitzers in the backfield. But I forgot to take him back out, so he'll be playing for the rest of the game. Next up, I choose the cover three cloud play that I put out last week, but I recently started making some new adjustments with this play as well. The setup is still the same as far as flipping the play in the huddle like this before pinching the entire defense by pressing the RB or the R1 button and down the left stick, then blitz one of the middle linebackers and place them behind the tackle with his arrow facing in this direction for the blitz. But since he has trips to the cover two side, I decide to play over the top coverage to protect that side and turn this hard flat into a cloud flat while also putting this linebacker into a hook 
hook to take away any quick throws before the receivers can reach the safeties. And he still attacks that area, but the hook-adjusted defender makes the tackle short of the first before he runs an RPO on fourth and inches to get the first anyway. One of the keys to any defense is to always mix up your coverages, and since I'm in base, they will all look the same, including man coverages like this, as he tries another RPO play only to keep it with Kyler Murray up the middle for a very big run that he almost took to the house. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Almost. Back on offense, it looks like he's running cover three once again, but it turns out to be cover one after the snap, so I take the check down to the running back for a big catch and run before I try to step another cover three one play touchdown, but I didn't get my usual separation. Yeah. And now he's back to pound the rock on offense, so I switch to my cover for a drop and bring the safeties down to help out in run support. It doesn't work, but it helps me disguise my cover one defense on the next play when I bring the safeties down to the box the exact same way, only this time I'm doing it to get the man defender closer to his receiver to cover the RPG. As he tries to run again and it goes nowhere. He quick hikes me on the next play to find a hole in my zone coverage to get the first before pounding his way into the red zone and getting to a third and one and almost getting the touchdown. That was a close one. He decides to go for it instead of taking the field goal and since he's been running mostly RPO plays, I come out and cover for it one more time and set up my RPO defense as I will often use one of the safeties as man defenders to the slot receiver since this is the position that most bubble screens come from. While I also hard flat to defend the one yard needed Surprise, motherfucker. and he runs an RPO to the other side of the field only to throw a huge pick six to Nolan Smith with only 11 seconds left before the end of the half. I get the ball to start the second half, but I get a ridiculous sack to interception animation to start. What the hell was that? And now I'm back on defense. My number one RPO defense is easily the Sam Mike 1, as man defenders are critical to slowing down the screen game, and the only adjustment that I really need to make is to put my outside linebacker on a hard flat to the open side of the field. Other than that, I just walk my safeties down to get closer to their coverage assignments, and with my user, I just try to cut off any routes that get open over the middle, as nothing gets open again and we almost get a coverage sack. He runs trips again on the next play, and I decide to base the line to show my coverage, resulting in an easy read and a first to the curl route. So I decide to keep my coverage hidden on the next play despite Nolan Smith being manned to a receiver, but he is fast enough to cover up a bubble screen on the next play for no gain. So on second and ten I decide it's a good time to send the blitz from the cover three cloud once again since I just shut down his RPO, making it less likely that he'll run it again on the next play, and the blitz forces an early throw that Kalen Barnes is all over for another pick six, this time from end zone to end zone, as I forgot I left Kalen Barnes out there but I was happy I did, and now I'm thinking about growing him instead of just leaving him buried on my roster. <laughs> Now down two scores, I'm confident that he has to start opening up his passing game more, so I come out in the cover three cloud defense again and make the same hook curl adjustment from the linebacker, and look how it cuts off this slant route as Nolan Smith goes right through the middle for the sack. I do it again on second and 21, but I play over the top and turn the hard flat into a cloud flat, and he picks up a lot of yards underneath. I try the cornerback blitz once again on the next play, and he beats me underneath outside for another first down, so I go back to my cover one RPO defense, and it shuts everything down as we trap the quarterback for a loss. Forcing him to give up on RPO plays completely and push the ball downfield more and open up his offense. Which is a win for me as playing against RPO plays all game is lame. Oh wait, there's another RPO play. Before scoring on another RPO play in what looks like a BS animation. God damn it! To keep the pressure on me and my offense to score again. And I get to midfield before he gets me into a huge 4th and 7 that I decide to go for. And I make a totally new adjustment by putting the running back on a wheel route to get a huge first down in field goal territory. And given that it's late in the 4th quarter, a 2 possession lead is all I need. So I run the ball just to keep the clock going as I don't want to take any chances. And since he's in a small defense, I just run to hurry up to keep him in it as I inch my way closer and closer to the end zone before switching to the drive H wheel for DeAndre Swift's NFL record 32nd touchdown of the year with one game left to play. On defense, I want to let him kill clock on himself with his offense, so I stay in the cover one man as he runs the quarterback again without sliding. Well, I bet you here. As we close in and knock the ball loose with a big user hit. From here, we have no plans on passing much as we're basically guaranteed a three possession lead from here. And that's exactly what we get with 341 left on the clock. And I still want to let him kill clock on himself, so I switch to the cover four, but once he gets nine yards on the first play, I go right back to playing aggressively as we user the RPO on the next play before going back to our RPO defense in the cover one man and hard flatting both sides of the field this time before almost getting another pick six on a curl route. On fourth and short, I call the overload three press defense one more time since it shut down the run the first time I used it, and it can also get pressure. But since he only needs a few inches, I hard flat as well. Gotcha, bitch! And this time, my 98 speed cornerback Keely Ringo drops down on it for my third pick six of the game. 
and essentially end this game with defense, as I really didn't score much on offense at all. I know that he has to pass in the next series, so I basically used nothing but the cover three cloud, only now I'm adding hook curls from the other defensive end to cover the entire field, and nothing gets open as he has to force it deep for another interception. Got him! To get a big win to get to 11 and 5 and set up a huge week 18 contest with the division leading New York Giants who beat me the week before with the division and the number one seed in the entire conference on the line. So make sure to be a subscriber if you guys want to see that. Other than that, I'll have links to the full breakdowns of the offense and defenses that I was using in this video popping up on screen. So if you guys want to see more, just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.